Welcome back to another video. Today we'll replace an engineered floor. So without further ado, let's crack on. First of all, we're going to uplift the old floor. And as you can see, we do have an underfloor heating system here. So you do have to be careful while, as you're uplifting the old floor, not to damage the underfloor heating. Here I am checking the length of the straps to make sure that we have enough straps to strap the floor at the end of the finished building. Now we've uplifted the kitchen area now. I think it's time we should start actually fitting the new floor. The plan is to replace all of the flooring on the ground floor. So we've done this job in stages. So this particular section in the kitchen is the last of the floor that we're replacing. We've done the dining room, the hallway, the snug, and the utility room. So we thought we'd let you see the last bit. One of the problems when you glue a floor is once you glue the joint, it starts to swell. So making the board slide is very, very difficult. Not impossible, but very difficult. What we're doing here is removing the old engineered wood so that we can fit the new one. And they go slightly under the unit.
Now that you've finished gluing the floor, you need to strap it and leave it strapped for at least six hours. There you go, we're just about done with this one. If you like these type of videos, please check out my other videos. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe.